For the multiplayer, is four-player online co-op. Uh, it's part of our Galaxy of War design, which lets the single-player campaign for Shepard and the multiplayer campaign uh, feed into an overall galactic war effort story, which is a thing that's combining the two of them. So where Shepard maybe isn't, uh, these four soldiers are, and they're telling a different story in the galactic war. You can expect oh, wave after wave of enemies, uh, lots of really smart enemies, all the improvements we're making in the single-player campaign, we're carrying over to the multiplayer campaign, great animations, great AI all coming after you, uh, challenging, challenging missions, and uh, lots of upgrades and customizations. The single player stuff we're doing where we're getting more and more customization weapons, uh, specific weapon upgrades, different types of ammo, different types of uh, the weapons actually look different when you upgrade them. We're bringing that over to the multiplayer as well. So we're giving you six different races and six different classes to play in. You've got your own uh, character to upgrade, so there's different skill trees you go through that, plus there's weapon upgrades and armor upgrades. So as uh, multiplayer battles are happening for you uh, in some parts of the galaxy, uh, information and resources and uh, things that are happening there will affect the single player campaign. Uh, it's not required to do that. The single player stuff will let you, you'll get all the best options you need to just playing the single player campaign, but it does represent options for the for the player who wants to play with their friends uh, and play multiplayer that way. In Horde like games, uh, it, it always ends with you getting to a certain wave and dying. So is it safe to say all these missions are suicide missions? Uh, well, I hope not. Uh, we're still working on them and such. We want to make sure that uh, however they end up playing out, there's a real story element to them all. So uh, it's not very good if in the story element you always die at the end. So we'll figure something out for that. The maps, they're built from the ground up to provide a really great gameplay experience for that. And we've all sorts of different systems going on in the background to make it challenging no matter how many times you play it. It's really great to see people around uh, our studio playing with their friends uh, in four different consoles and yelling and screaming at each other and helping each other out and running. You can die in the level, you can be revived, so it's great to, to hear people yelling for help. We have a whole studio we've been building in Montreal that decided to take on the challenge of, of a lot of the multiplayer stuff themselves, and that's worked out great because it's not the Edmonton uh, team who's been on the game since Mass Effect 1 uh, really focus on the single player campaign. Uh, that said, they work together very closely and they share a lot of stuff. You can't make two games or two parts of a game like this that are so intertwined and, and, and not share ways and not learn from each other. So that's been going on too. I hope what people will really uh, see is, is cool is the idea that there is a galactic war going on and we're doing a good job of telling a story about an entire galaxy at war fighting one enemy, the Reapers, and how uh, that consumes the entire galaxy. It becomes a unifying thing for all different races and species and, and planets. And I hope that really hits home and really comes across in the experience we're making. Master 3 is coming for Xbox, PS3, and PC on March 6, 2012 for North America and March 9, 2012 for Europe and Asia Pacific.